Well, hello yet again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. I know you're here for more war game European escalation multiplayer footage with the original homeboys, the OGs, Raptor and Lennon. Welcome back, everyone, as we play as Pact vs. NATO, Kaisai vs. El Greco 225 and parentheses in French. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we've got here on the battlefield. By the way, this is Hammerhead, and this map. Uh, as you can record matches after they're finished, or at least save the replays, um, was saved as a more notorious battle in my uh, in my repertoire. So um, keep in mind that this is going to be a real doozy. So you're in for a real treat here. Uh, let's take a look then at what everybody's got, what everybody's flaunting. Uh, over here you have Lennon, and uh, he's bringing up the T-72As and Bs, not to mention Scots, Conkers, Tunguskas, and uh, UAZ as well. Some supply units also calling out a... Re uh, um, a recon and an FOB and a UAZ hidden in the rear. Let's go ahead and take a look at yours truly. We have UAZs, MI-24Ps, a large group of BTRs, uh, PT-85, Tunguska, Shroom, T-64, Dana, and Tunguska. This is also a big point match, if I remember correctly, so you're going to see a vast cornucopia of pain this battle. On the uh, enemy side, we have a lot of Hueys, oh boy, Challengers and Leos, oh, somebody is sparing no expense as they seem to be opening Jurassic Park and or having a ton of fun with some high-level units here. My god, eight big boys. That is, uh, that is going to be costly if he loses those. The match begins now, and let's just go ahead and take a look at our boy Greco over here before we get started. Looks like uh, multiple groups of Fuchs, uh, Bradleys, uh, Vabs, and also a command kept him back, as well as a Kiowa armed with 70mm rockets, and he'll be moving forward fast onto the road, and he's uh, natural f natural fashion. The French are advancing in reverse. Wonderful. All right, now, uh, I, I get a lot of comments now. Uh, Raptor, how do I be as good as you? Raptor, can you train me? Raptor, how, when can I play with you? Raptor, you're so good. Well, thank you so much for the for the compliments and the comments. I don't think I'm the best, but I hope you're learning things. And the and the best way to get a little better is to watch all of these uh, multiplayer replays, not to sound narcissistic, but if it helps you, then keep it up. MI-24 is breaking right. Uh, I'm going to be able to see those soon. Kaisai with uh, multiple ATGM groups and riflemen uh, more than likely seeing my MI-9s at this point. He also has a UH-1. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We might have an early kill coming here. Oh, do you smell that? Do you smell what the Raptor is cooking well it's going to be the raw flesh of the enemy because this uh1a is about to get pwned baby mi9 is spotting it now challenger and pvads also coming in did not know he called in that roland as well uh, i believe there's a roland too and the command is down 200 300 points instantly as uh, this was prior to the patch when uh, um, command helicopters were 300 points now down to 240 but yes 300 points immediately for the rat pack boys and uh speaking of packed we have a real packed advantage here. Uh, Roland's getting ready to fire at that MI-9. Uh, really insignificant at this point. Uh, does take a hit, but only half damage. Oh man, he must be really raging right there. Uh, troops are arriving now. It looks like uh, at least uh, multiple, well, a uh, whole mix of infantry. There's that cornucopia of pain, including T-64s, ATGMs, riflemen, AA units, and colo trucks. Uh, paratroopers are also here. Now, those are going to cause a real mess um, for forces here. Let's back out just a little bit, as it's about to get real and loud. As you can see, all those troops smashing together. Um, let's go over to Lennon then and see what action's going on over here. Looks like he's also engaging with his helicopters. Fuchs being taken down. Fernspar also uh, have probably had their vehicles destroyed. Uh, those are in the Fuchs. Um, Lennon's main force is not even anywhere near it and still causing uh, a good amount of damage, bringing down some infantry transports and at least letting the enemy know that he's got a fist that they're going to have to move uh, in order to get in there. Paratroopers and ATGM dragons are probably going to be taken out by the 40-plus uh, motor streliki that are moving into the forest now, as well as conquerors that are moving to the left, uh, possibly to flank and or take up a good defensive position. Shatrums will also be uh, silver bullets against uh, higher-level tanks, so for you newer players or for those you asking for device. Uh, these Leo 2s and these challengers here moving through the woods would be a perfect target for that Shatrum. In fact, we should call it Shitstorm because that's what it's going to cause against the enemy. Uh, it looks like uh, the Frenchie is now arriving to Juliet. And shout out to you French fans out there. No disrespect, but uh, it does rhyme quite uh, nicely. 
uh, Bradleys pulling up. Looks like there's a total of, uh, my God, 10 Bradleys? Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, moving up through Juliet, uh, Lennon keeping his helicopters back as there's no need to risk those just to try to get a Bradley kill. Back over to the side of yours truly. Oh boy, let's watch this. Leo's up on the hill opening fire on a lot of the infantry that were in the woods. It looked like uh, some basic infantry. Paratroopers now being engaged by Motor Strelicky. One Leo down and one T-64 down as well. Another T-64, one T-64 left. Looks like the enemy now has the advantage in the field, but wait, what's this? MI-24 opening fire now, baby. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Two Leos down now, packed at 765, NATO at 436. Look at all of this. The enemy has been encircled by some type of uh, a crescent moon formation, at least trying to draw them out to the right here, where uh, the helicopters are just waiting. Roland now pulling up. Roland firing at the MI-9, which will probably be taken out. Challengers there. A lot of big boys right there. Shaturm just waiting to see if he can get a shot on them. Uh, probably need some more infantry here. There comes the call out for infantry. Let's back over to Lennon just to get uh, a little sense of what's going on over here. Looks like uh, Flak Panzers are coming up. Oh boy. That's not good. Lennon's going to have to pull back very far now uh, in order to stop. Oh, but wait a minute now. Hold on. T-72s are now advancing on the enemy's rear. He's going to have them between a rock and a hard place. And speaking of rock, rock on Lennon uh, as he's starting to destroy more units here. I just back out uh, to try to uh, limit that sound so you all can hear me. There's just a, 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 a crazy amount of fire. Looks like uh, so two of the Leos are down. Two of them are routing. The Roland is down now. Shatroom, one of them destroyed. Also destroying one Challenger. Uh, pack now at 1,256 to NATO's uh, 935. Um... Definitely want to try to limit the enemy's scoring here. They they are definitely taking out some some of Lennon's helicopters. Um, this is a this is a good rush now. The enemy now has the advantage of driving right into Lennon's uh, um, command point or starting point here at Hotel. Let's just jump back just to see if any more challengers are going to be hurt. Oh boy, looks like they're uh, out in the open here. Conkers and Mi-24Ps are opening fire on those. Um, now that we can't get that, those Danas had better start firing, but it looks like they're firing at the enemy infantry that's advancing on the road. Oh! Bradley's now firing at those Mi-24s. More Mi-24s coming in. Artillery stunning those uh, Bradleys pretty good. Lennon almost losing his uh, command over the, in this direction. Not only his command vehicle, but uh, command of his troops as they're mostly going to rout. Uh, T-72s are coming in quick from the rear. Lennon not having a good day here, but he did put all of his resources in defending Delta, and that is a very important point here. Uh, we're f we're now close. It is 12:16 uh, to 396. This right forest, a uh, real battering there to uh, to uh, Kaisai as he brought out those heavy helicopters early. Uh, Lennon escaping with his UAZ here. Uh, MI-24 downed by Stinger, and MI-24Ps engaging those Stinger from the rear. Uh, Gazelle Canon coming in now, a uh, French helicopter that's probably going to take down that 9. Uh, Lennon just getting the hell out of there, engaging with everything that he's got, at least denying the enemy of getting that extra 200 points. Pack now up to 1,500. Command helicopter, or rather transport helicopters coming in. Uh, Cub not going to have any of that. Uh, actually, these aren't uh, transports. These are just rockets. Uh, those are probably be take. This cub will probably be destroyed, uh, as it, it is now stunned by those um, by those links. One links down now. Uh, must have gotten fired at by something. How did that happen? Did the cub actually get a kill? Not sure. Uh, NATO at 14, uh, 15, and packed at 1500. It is very close here, ladies and gentlemen. Back over to Lennon now. He is uh, completely broken up here. Um, T-72s are going in a different direction. He still controls Foxtrot, though, and pretty much holding Delta strong. Uh, T-72s probably going to engage that Chinook there. That would be good points for Lennon. That's uh, at least, I believe, I don't... Don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to say 75 to 85 points. Challenger making its presence known now. Pre uh, Challenger now moving out into the center. 
Uh, nothing to engage at. Cub is now routing. Danas are going to have to start firing soon to, to see if they can uh, do any damage against those challengers. One challenger there almost completely destroyed and uh, destroying a cub now. Uh, enemy at 1500, uh, Raptor and Lennon at uh, 1814. Uh, Tunguska also going in to support those T-72As. Uh, good for Lennon just to kind of hold here as the enemy. This was their ultimate plan, was just to move into hotel and then sit there uh, with, with Lennon possibly moving to perhaps capture or destroy the command at Juliet. Let's see if he's able to do it. Uh, quickly go, go back to the forest over here just to see if there's anything going on. One challenger destroyed. Artillery must have taken that out. Artillery very valuable. Another Leo down as well. And uh, another challenger still getting hit. Very low fuel on those challengers as well. Those uh, Brits really know how to make an SUV, don't they? Uh, coming back over to the left. T-72 is now moving up. Oh, the Fern Spars are destroyed. Lennon completely unopposed now to destroying a uh, VAB if he wants. Tunguska uh, opening fire on that hot that just destroyed one T-72. Uh, firing another volley. Ooh, Lennon uh, not being hit. Very lucky there, being shaken. Uh, by that, um, oh, and it looks like the Tunguska is out of ammunition. Uh, Lenin striking back. The Empire did strike back as Lenin attempted to capture that, or at least destroy that VAB PC there. Fuchs moving in as well. Let's go back over to the right. MI-24 is engaging PVADs and Challengers. Finally destroying that PVADs there. Lenin's position still held by the uh, enemy forces. Uh, Danas are firing again. Oh boy, Challengers and uh, Leos are going to be continuously hit now. Oh, they're they're completely toast. They are going to be battle. Uh, they're not going to be combat effective. Lennon here going in with what I'm going to believe to be the winning kill here. Uh, T-72 rolling forward, a very, uh, very um, low-to-the-ground vehicle, and uh, it's going to basically obliterate the VAB parked right here. Main cannon getting ready to fire. There it goes. Complete destruction on that VAB. Gazelle moving in to try to fire with nothing. Uh, and the um, Gazelle being n not not even damaged by that. Uh, very interesting. Let's go over here to the Challengers. See if those are destroyed at all. Uh, 20 minutes left in this battle. Not exactly sure if it'll last that long. Uh, Leos and Challengers still being uh, damaged by that artillery fire. Uh, routing even uh, in some certain situations. Uh, let's go over here to Hotel. Uh, looks like the enemy forces might be regrouping around the FOB. And Lennon taking advantage of that. Uh, no, rather Raptor. And, uh, no, just Raptor uh, seeing, yours truly, seeing that opportunity to engage a lot of those enemy forces and doing so. Bradley's pushing forward, but those MI-24As will probably be able to destroy those or at least get them to be shaken. Artillery coming in as well. Ooh, snap, dog. Very good to have that artillery support there. Very close to our artillery. Uh, going to get a lot of points from that. 2,400 now for uh, Pact and 18... Hundred for uh, NATO artillery is just going to come in and eat those troops alive. Uh, Dana artillery very effective and continuous fire. MI-24Ps and MI-24As are now moving closer in on that infantry. Bradley, let's see if it's going to get hit. Oh no, missile uh, breaking off. But those uh, vehicles are now routing, and uh, Greco himself has surrendered. Um, Lennon uh, cleaning up around Juliet. And looking for perhaps that roll in there. Left flank devastated. Lennon holding the center. Nicely done. He, even though he lost his rear position, he still held the middle of the field. And that is extremely important because without Delta, the enemy's not able to bring in uh, uh, expensive units. And without Juliet, they're not able to bring out units at all. They'll have to bring them out from India, where the enemy is now bringing in HOTS and Kia was to try to do selective strikes on big boy units. Unfortunately, uh, there's not much for big units on the battlefield other than the T-72As, uh, which are moving in, uh, but they also have Tunguska support, even though they're not supported by, uh, even though this might not have missiles, it's still deadly on the field. Uh, especially if Lennon's able to refill those. BTRs are sitting next to those challengers. They can't see each other, but uh, you bet that I know they're there. Going to continue to engage Cassie now at the bottom. Now, keep in mind, this was uh, formerly the... Uh, this was Gre uh, Greco's forces, but uh, he gave up after uh, coming under continuous fire from those MI-24s. A completely failed 
flanking. Uh, he did go around Lenin's forces to try to get to Hotel, but with no objective, possibly trying to destroy high-level artillery. But with Lenin having most of his forces in the center, uh, it would have been smarter for the enemy to try to push into Foxtrot, then possibly Hotel, and then also to artillery what was left uh, around Delta if they were able to find it. Lenin completely controlling this position now. T-72s conquers, T-72As, uh, two of them, and uh, Ural trucks also here. Uh, Lenin will probably be able to fight that Bradley off no problem. Uh, especially with his own conquerors, causing a bad fur day for the enemy. Kiowa now looking for any units around those Leo, or around the Challenger of the Leo. Only uh, two of those units left, badly damaged and out of fuel. Um, very, very poor. Uh, bringing in eight of those to try to bring dominance to the battlefield, but bringing nothing but uh, a huge paycheck uh, payable to the Soviet Union uh, and payable in uh, direct rubles, my friend. Uh, artillery now looking for the command, possibly here. Uh, that's what that artillery is coming down for, just to try to end the game with a little bit of mercy. Kiowa now out of ammunition. Uh, actually, it does have a Browning 12.7, uh, what is it, 12.7 uh, millimeter. Critical impact on the end of, uh, ammo box. Helicopter goes down from the intense fire from those two BTRs. Uh, PT-85 uh, also uh, doing a little bit of scouting on that unit. PT-75, a very interesting Russian unit. Let's take a look at it real quick. Scout unit. Also, looks like it's shells shaded here. Almost couldn't pronounce that. Uh, very cool unit. Very nice. Uh, very nice uh, battle tank. You could actually bring those up in groups of four, and they'd be able to effectively engage uh, and the enemy forces. Now, speaking of engaging enemy forces, Mi-24 Ps and As are now looking for those Leos and Challengers, as well as any stragglers. Uh, the enemy really only having. Uh, let's see. Looks like just Bradley's left in Hotel, which we're not going to touch since they're in those uh, heavy forested areas. Uh, and the Gazelle in the back, which might be trying to do a little bit of operation against. And it's a hot one, by the way, which means it has four uh, very accurate uh, uh, Scalos missiles on them. Unfortunately, if, it, uh, if it's uh, back there, it's not going to be able to engage, and there's no real big targets for it. Uh, Lennon now uh, moving around. No oh, Raptor again. Jeez, I should start giving myself more credit. Usually I'm on here raving about how brilliant Lennon's attacks are, but this time it's yours truly. Uh, Lennon regrouping now, uh, capturing Juliet, and uh, regrouping with T-72As, T-72Bs, and the remaining, uh, remaining forces around those areas, as well as resupplying his men with three-year-old trucks. Yours truly also arriving with the helicopters to do a little bit of damage in India. This will probably be our last assault unless we get a kill over here, which I just saw a unit be destroyed. Uh, there was something destroyed over here. I'm not exactly sure. It just gave me a little uh, X, so it might have been a small scouting unit, perhaps. I'm not exactly sure. I might be wrong on that. Maybe that's where he was calling out a new unit. Ah, must be the Super Chinook. That's what he called out. He's calling out the Super Chinook now to try to resupply uh, very, very just uh, futile um, rearming and refueling of those two tanks that apparently are the precious jewels of his defense in that area even though mm, perhaps uh, a well-placed uh, infantry attack from the left flank would be able to take those uh, tanks down now of course for you newer players or for those of you who feel like you don't have any tactics uh, a tank is not meant to be taken head-on. Basically what you want to do is you want to come in from the sides with stealth and get in so close that the crew has no uh, time to respond before you destroy or heavily damage the vehicle. Keep in mind though, in a uh, war game, uh, it's not heavily damaged. That gets you the points. It's complete enemy destruction. And uh, speaking of destruction, it looks like uh, Lennon calling for, or no, Raptor calling for, jeez, uh, probably infantry to move there. As we build up our forces for the final assault, it'll probably come too late before we uh, get one more kill to bring us up to 3,000. Artillery is now going to fall on these uh, remaining units, possibly uh, infantry there, as we're predicting that uh, we'll have to attack there. Uh, let's see, the Super Chinook moving in. It'll probably be killed by those BTRs, which he has seemed to have forgotten about. But wait a minute now. Bradley's moving in on those Danas uh, and ZSUs. Let's see if those get destroyed. It'll be a little bit before they get here, but let's, let's check out the BTRs. Super Chinook taken down by just two BTRs. Oh, my God, and there it goes. Not a good day, bringing our total points now up to 2940. This will probably be the end, my friend, as those Bradleys get close. Perhaps those Danas will be able to score a direct hit. Uh, we probably, yours truly, probably sees those by now. 
uh, would be a good time for those helicopters to get their asses back here, but they're not. Uh, Le oh, wait a minute now. Leo moving towards those BTRs. Maybe this PT-85 will get a nice shot off on the side of the Leo. Both of them engaging each other now. Leo not able to fire yet. Oh, oh, oh taking out that uh, recon unit, uh, but he did take a good clock to the, to the nose. Leo 2A4 now on one note of health. Um, the Challenger completely out of ammunition. They're basically not even not even in the fight. Um, as those Bradleys were spotted and the FOB is captured, uh, Dana and Tunguska getting out of there. ZSU, no no big deal. Those are probably worth 25 points each. Uh, Bradley also uh, moving in a little closer, possibly trying to find that UAZ that's fled. It would be good uh, to stop at this point and call out reinforcements and then just continue to flee. Uh, the enemy now bringing out their, uh, ah, this will be the end of the battle then. Uh, that hot will be seen by the Tunguska, and uh, it will probably engage, or or perhaps the Leo. Uh, looks like I chose, oh, there we are, Tunguska there. Uh, I forgot about that one. Uh, seeing the gazelle right in front of its nose, and uh, this will be the end of the battle, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Well, anyway, I have to cut this quick because I don't have a lot of time. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, back then, we were level 36 and 39 against 44 and 42. Lennon, shout out to you, buddy. Another great match from the past. So that was only 20 minutes of gameplay. But if you want to see more, don't forget to check out those videos below, including Men of War Assault Squad and many other great titles. So until next time, friends and fans, this is Raptor reminding you to keep your password and your pimp hand strong, baby. Oh, yes.